Are we finally getting something so many assume would come to grounded? A lawnmower. And will it be climbable or something we can actually use? Well, from Dan Ball's music video that Grounded have collabed with yesterday, there is a clue that yes, a lawnmower may come to Grounded in the future. We're also going to go over the more exciting stuff for me as well, that we are going to be able to put turrets on walls and a whole host of changes already in the PTB. Now remember, the PTB is not live for everyone yet. I'm kind of expecting it to be Wednesday now, with obviously just after the Casually Grounded stream. The devs love teasing us and showing us a surprise, so I expect them to announce it at some point after that. But here's the latest round of changes with lots of stuff going on from the patch last night. So the glue factory has got its own actual stand now and it's just the old mixer. If you remember back in the day, that's what the mixer used to look like, I'm pretty sure, before it got a nice snazzy kind of redo. But that's it, that's what the glue factory is looking like now. I think that would still be temporary, but you never know, it could be the one that they're gonna go with. And they have made it now that you can put other bug parts in here to make glue too. Namely, more spider parts and block ox parts, but they've also increased the cost of some of these. Eight spider chunks now to get one glue, two roly polies, six stink bug parts, five ladybug parts, five bombardier parts, three antline parts, four termite parts, and two black ox parts. I do kind of still wish this had more on it. I, you know, maybe I'm asking for too much here, but I think a lot of you guys still probably have a lot of other bug parts that you just simply aren't using, unless there's going to be use for them in the future, I guess. But I guess that would maybe make it a bit too easy to go ahead and repair. The idea is that you've got great weapons, you repair them, but it's going to come at some sort of cost. Instead of having to go and find them ingredients, you can just simply go ahead and use these once they're upgraded past level 5 to 9. They've also shown the health rating of the creatures now properly. All the cards should do. So you can see the ant here is just one heart. Then we've got black ants, two hearts. Ladybugs, two hearts. Bees, two hearts. Sickly roly poly, two hearts. But the original roly poly, the proper one, three hearts. So it looks like three hearts might be the max. As the assistant manager still three hearts. It's got to be like the broodmother's got to be a four heart one, surely. Infected wolf spider's still only three hearts. Yeah, the Broodmother is for hearts. Again, another great little touch. I'm absolutely loving these cards. I can't wait to come up with some challenges or videos based around getting the gold ones. They have made the Waff Provoker a lot more expensive to craft now. You're going to need two Ladybug parts, a Ladybug head, four Bug Goops and five Clay. I think it was a lot easier than that beforehand. That's not the end of the world, but yeah, it definitely reflects more about what it actually looks like now. Although the obvious is pretty there. It's actually a ladybird, not a ladybug parts. I think in the future we will get actual separate parts for a lot of the other bugs. The green shield bug has now got its own parts that you have to use to make the torch and maybe a shield in future. And I think they're going to do the same with the other variants. Then a few things to do with like the mixer. Apparently it's had a more animation and making noise again when activated. That was a bit of a bug. And base attacks are allowed to be slightly more destructive now that they happen less frequently. So they've tuned down the amount of base attacks. You won't get as many pop up. But when they do, you've got to be even more ready. You've got to have maybe more defences or be ready to accept that they might do a bit more damage. Uh, clearly, bugs are still a bit of an issue getting stuck on terrain. But that's always going to be an ongoing issue. And oh, I forgot to mention as well that the Waft Provoker is actually called the Waft Emitter now. So it's undergone a few changes. Provoker, emitter, yeah, whatever it is, I like it. Okay, but here's the exciting thing, guys. Here's the exciting thing. You can now go ahead and place turrets on walls. I kid you not. Doesn't that look amazing? That is like the best brand new feature they've had for this update so far with all the changes they've made so far. I'm not kidding you. I don't know why. I just love the idea of this. Being able to build like really creative bases from now on, but also have proper defences that aren't going to be as vulnerable. I feel like it's been pretty obvious, but the turrets, when they've been on the ground, they've been pretty susceptible to, obviously, enemies coming over and just wrecking stuff. It only takes a few hits from some of the larger ones and your turret is going to be brown bread. But now we can literally place it on walls and ceilings. Now, originally I thought this would mean we'd be able to hang them upside down, but I don't think it does. I think it just means you can place them on top of them. Again, I could have this totally wrong, but I've been playing around with this for a little while now. And yeah, it just wasn't really working out. So maybe you couldn't place them on ceilings, but you can absolutely place it on walls like this. How great is that? So that hopefully will stop a lot of people worrying about not being able to aim or shoot down some more. 
Like it will take a bit of a while getting used to, but you've still got quite a lot of freedom there to go ahead and put these in some imaginative places and maybe help defend your base a bit better. The only thing I really wish is that we could take some pictures and see what it's like when we're actually inside. So if I try and move this around again, you can see it's just not hanging upside down. That's what I thought it would do. So unless there is something I'm just doing wrong, yeah, I can't get it to actually go upside down. Although it will go at an angle. So maybe it's just the pieces I'm using, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's meant to be intended, but it does look like you can go ahead and use it on a sloped piece, which will make that viewpoint, I guess, a little bit more confusing. But yeah, I still think it'd be cool to hang upside down. But still a cool feature and like I said if they do change that or maybe it is something I'm doing I'll let you guys know when it comes to doing the full proper guide once this updates out for everyone. And the Dan Ball Grounded collab has now gone live. 12,000 views already, 1,800 likes. It's a great little song. I have scaled to see if there's anything there that we might have missed some new features and it does look like indeed it shows the lawnmower. Now it doesn't mean much in itself, we know they've used placeholders before and we know that sometimes they won't always add some of the stuff that they've put in in the past. This does look like it's an old build, you can clearly see the upturned barbecue in the background here. So it's way before obviously the Into the Wood update. But I do think they got some new shots as well. You can see that the backyard there looks pretty much how it's always looked with the grass before the latest changes where they've expanded the upper part, the upper part of the yard. But then there is a shot of the deck outside the shed being worked on. So clearly they have mixed up different builds here to get some of these shots. And I present to you my evidence, your honour, just underneath the crow's feathers or the wing on his right, just next to the oak tree, you can see that dark shape. Now that isn't the oak tree because that's been missing the stump that was in there. That's not been in any updates for absolutely ages. And it does look like there's some sort of bush, bush at the back of it at least. Man, my words today are just not coming out right. But yeah, you get the idea. It's definitely shiny at the front, and I'm only hoping that it actually works. Imagine if you get killed by the rotating blades. I'm pretty sure they won't have that. But it'd be so cool if that ends up being like a changing event. Imagine you click it on, and the lawnmower just goes wild. Starts tearing up all the grass around it, leaving some sort of wasteland. I haven't seen any other changes or any other new stuff. Like I said, they are kind of, it's kind of a mix of a build. It's not the stuff we saw as part of PAX East. It looks like maybe this was worked on before then. But yeah, let me know if you saw anything new or exciting inside this video. And I guess we'll find out in the very close future. Go and give it a listen. Great song. I did think the update would come live when it came out yesterday, this song. But I do believe this week we're going to get the update for sure. It just makes the most sense. You've got something big, you've paid money to advertise your game. You've got to have an update or something going live pretty close to it. And that's it. I'll let you guys know as soon as the update drops and I'll cover any news from the Casually Grounded stream tomorrow. If you haven't become a member yet, think about it. Supporting my channel gets you some exclusive access to stuff. I'm currently finishing off my 50 days of Grounded Survival ready for the Bug Strike back update. So that video is hoped to come live in the next few days as well. And thank you so much for the support. You know, the channel's nearly at 4,500 subs. We've been growing massively over the last few months since I've just pretty much dedicated the channel to nothing but Grounded other than Core Keeper, which is also a great game. Going forward, as I've mentioned in a few streams, it's going to be Grounded, 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 other than when things like maybe Slime Rancher 2 comes out and eventually Little Devil Inside. They're kind of games that I will be going big on on this channel once they launch. But I'll always be here for Grounded and of course Small Land eventually whenever that arrives. But I do appreciate the support. We've had loads of likes. This channel's doing better than my main at the moment because I've been putting so much focus onto this one. So I just really appreciate the support, the likes, the views. So thank you very much and I'll see you right back for more news soon. Bye-bye.